Hey, it's Andrea. All right, so today in the Projectors and Business group specifically, I'll have to make another video if I want to spread this around somewhere else at this point. It's an older document that I wrote. It's not very long, five or six pages, um, called Five Steps to High Ticket Offers Your... Ah, I can't even remember the name of it. Isn't that hilarious? Anyway, this came up in the group. Somebody asked, um, could you elaborate a little bit on what high ticket offers might and, and how it might fit for projectors, might, how high ticket offer business might model might fit for projectors. It's what I've been doing, um, actually not so much since I started looking at human design and like figuring all this stuff out for myself because there is a, it felt like a whole period of time that everything just had to like be reevaluated, right? However, it is really the, the model that has worked the best for me over time. I have continued to uh, uh, support and, and what's the right word, um, facilitate uh, some people, a, hand, a small handful of people who continue through whatever thick and thin Planet Andrea ever amounts to. And um, that's pretty much who we end up needing, not needing, but who in a perfect world we end up finding and connecting with and crossing paths with. And the way to do that um, varies from person to person. I think that really depends upon your um, profile first and foremost. Um, and then also, uh, you know, what, what, what suits you in terms of mostly what kind of content, what kind of help can you give people ahead of time so that they can taste you and feel you and know that you might be a match and they'd like to talk to you. That seems to be the best way that I've ever found online to do this, whether that's a free method, a free, free marketing method, platform, whatever platform, platform doesn't matter, don't get hung up on whatever platform, could be Facebook, could be YouTube, could be Instagram, could be a, an email marketing um, process it just doesn't that part is kind of the mechanics of it it's the idea that you're creating stuff that people can taste you with when you're even sleeping is sort of the big the big picture part of this that's great for projectors in particular okay so what this is it's called five steps to oh my goodness I cannot believe I can't remember the name of this I wrote it it's probably been four Mm, I probably wrote it before human design and I'm just about into my fifth year of human design so um, it's been a while but it still applies so five steps is it's kind of what I do automatically without thinking about it now so once you kind of get it into your system the the pieces are it feels like something's missing if you if you don't include one of these pieces or you know that you haven't included one if things aren't working so it's called five steps to crafting high ticket offers people will say yes to aka how to effectively monetize a tiny list so I used to be and I only can say used to be because I haven't done it in a really long time it's not that I've closed down anything on purpose or anything but I used to be a pretty prolific email marketer with a tiny list still to date so for years like 15 years I've been email marketing except this last couple which has been just ridiculous because of the all of the human design integration honestly it's been weird but you know watching my mind deal with it all has been part of the experiment so um, I used to be pretty well known for monetizing tiny lists because it doesn't take a huge list if you have the right people who are able to consume your goodness it just doesn't um, so I even have I think I still don't have more than a thousand people on a list that um, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars from that list and it's not normal but it is possible and that's kind of the idea the projector piece really fits in here because the high ticket amount allows for the one-on-one -on -one that people really get the best um, connections from projectors in general that's just this just how it works out 
So what we end up doing, what I have ended up doing and what a lot of people end up doing is some kind of low ticket offer at the front and then having ways for people to lean in further uh, at, a, at a scale. So there's depending, usually there's something at a, you know, whatever under $100 offer and then something more in the, maybe in the $500 range or four or three or whatever. And then once they have really basically pre-sold themselves because of what you've already provided, there's a certain portion of that, the, that group that has experienced you, however they, and it doesn't even have to be that they do all of these things. Sometimes I sell people the whole package and include all the little stuff. So it really just depends on how they come to you and what, what, what it is they're looking for in that moment. But as sort of a, a way to lay the, the foundation and the platform that you're going, that you can do this from, having some small tastes of, of things that are paid because you want to um, know that people are willing to take out their credit card and buy because if they're not, they're never going to be any kind of customer, let alone a high ticket customer. So you kind of want to... Uh, it's sort of like programming. It's sort of like conditioning people to be used to to paying for access to you and your stuff, whatever your stuff ends up being. Okay, anyway, the conversation that came up in the group today, which is funny because this is four years into this group, and I don't think that I've ever, sh I might have shared this in here before, but the conversation around high ticket just doesn't come up very often. And, um, it's obviously not something that so I'm right-minded and so it all has to be pulled out of me anyway so if somebody wants something then I go like hey is it somewhere at can I serve this thing um, but also from a projector perspective having an agenda to teach people about high ticket is incorrect <laughs> unless they want to know about it so the conversation opened up several people have asked for this Thing that I remember that I had I've done a little bit of updating to it because it was it was t you, you can give away a piece of content that then takes people someplace else and this was taking someplace else that I it wasn't appropriate for this forum so I picked something else and there is a purchase if you want to have further conversation I love having basically a toll gate for people to pick my brain. I have picked my brain credits that came into play this year. Again, I'd had, I had had them probably 10 years ago at one point. Um, I have little, little front end offers um, that let people basically get on my radar so that I know who to pay attention to and who is just going to be spending my time and energy without having any kind of skin in the game. If for some reason anything that I'm selling is out of reach for you because you live in a country that has a um, kind of a funky, uh, like a, a, what's the right word, a funky, um, you know, you, your, your, whatever your currency is becomes like extremely exorbitant when it's transferred into dollars, just talk to me about it because that I've found is, has been a, a something I bump into more often with human design stuff than anything because um, of the internationalness of the conversation that, that human design is. Um, so I, I'm always willing to work with that reality because it's no there's no reason why someone should have to pay what would it, you know be the price of I don't even know what it, I, I don't even get it necessarily because I'm so dollar centric that you know just let me know what's going on but anyway yes there is a purchase in there that you can further step into the zone of planet Andrea and I highly highly encourage you to have that as a uh, something like that as a filter for yourself because then you know people are are actually willing to show up in that way um, it's great to help people. It's great to help people, but if you can't eat while you're helping people, it really doesn't end up helping anybody. Um, my father, also a projector, it turns out, ha told me something um, 
I used to make jewelry for about 15 years. I was a, a glass jeweler, like stained and fused glass, and used to do craft shows. It was dog's work. It was hard. It was it. And then when I had uh, my second child, it turned into a more of a wholesale um, production business that I was still doing all of the work for. It was horrible. Uh, but one of the things he said to me that he doesn't even remember saying that really stuck was um, be sure Andrea that you're charging enough so that your future customers can actually access you because otherwise you'll be out of business and they won't have the opportunity and that totally stuck with me it totally stuck with me if you're not charging enough to stay in business to thrive to be at least eating and paying your bills then you're essentially d doing your future customers a disservice because you're not going to be available to them. That really helped my, that was probably my first hurdle into being able to charge more than I thought was like what should be charged because your mind, your mind doesn't get to decide what the value is for the other person. It just doesn't. And what anybody else is charging doesn't matter as well. Don't even, um, try and cross compare stuff I mean to a degree you can do a little a little front-end product it, it there's a price range that is not shocking to people um, but the, the truth is is that uh, the when you have the right offer and this this document will help with that I'm gonna link it here um, when you have the right offer uh, created the people who are meant to to say yes to it um, even when they don't have the money for it right now, um, what's the best way to say this? I heard somebody else say something earlier that they'd heard from another person. If you, if you, the whole, this whole thing about if it's for you, the money will turn up. It's kind of, yes, it, it does happen, but there's also, there's action that can be taken <laughs> to make that happen if it's something that you decide is for you. So the, the strategy and authority piece. I'm inviting you to come have a conversation around this anytime. I've waited however long. I can wait some more longer. I can never have it with the folks in this group. It doesn't matter to me. And that's part of what I've come away from. I've taken away from human design is just really not having any concern about the outcome. The training that I link in this in this document also it lent to that so my dad was sort of the first layer this guy who the training is uh, it's a $37 training that's in this at the moment called secret beliefs um, he was like the next big layer of you know change my change my whole thinking around what is possible price-wise and um, yeah Let's just let's leave it at that. I this is completely off the cuff. Didn't have any plans to do this today. Did end up um, modifying this this document. I hope it's useful to you. Ask us whatever questions you need to, and follow the breadcrumbs if it seems like it's for you. Definitely tune into your your inner authority, your personal authority, because that is ultimately the only thing that matters. Okay, alrighty. I'll talk to you soon and just let me know what's up. Have a great day.